so what's up y'all welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about um pretty much my lock journey i told y'all in the other video that i would make a video um about this journey and um here it is okay so if y'all see me look down or like occupied a few times it's because i'm kind of like looking at my notes on my ipad i pretty much prepared for this video so I really wouldn't miss any points that I wanted to touch about locking up. I am not an expert, let me start there, let me say that first. I'm literally, specifically speaking, um, for my journey, about my journey. Um, if y'all have any tips, suggestions, points, recommendations, whatever, please comment below because I am still learning as I go. I'm still finding things out and I'm loving. I'm just having fun, you know, doing the journey. Before I start, let me first say that my journey and your journey will be completely different. As you're listening to this video, please do not compare our hair. Have an open mind to different techniques and take away what works for you. Maybe try something different. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm only five months in and you will be surprised how many times I've heard, don't do this, do this. You can't do that. You're not supposed to do this. And I kind of tried a little bit of everything. And so far, what they say don't do has worked for me. Like I've heard um, don't wash your hair as much when you first lock up. I stay in the water. <laughs> I wash my locks all the time because I've also heard the more water or moisture and the more times you wash it, um, the faster it'll lock up. And I do find that true. I do find that I'm budding faster the more that I do um, condition it, wash it, what have you, wet it, anything. So pretty much I said all of that to say, figure out what works for you and try different things. What oils, what conditioners, what shampoos. Some of us really don't shampoo. We just do a cold wash. That's fine. Um, which edge control you like to use. How often you want to retwist. How often you want to wash. What's another one? Um, if you want to color your locks or not. I will say that my hair was already colored before I locked up. So I'm not, I don't have too much information on whether or not you can bleach or color your hair in the beginning stages of locking up. So when did I lock up? I want to say it was March, the end of March. And oh my gosh, it, it was such a long wait. She was like, completely booked up and I only had to wait like two weeks but it was the longest two weeks ever because I was so excited and I was really ready to do it and before I committed to it I already did my research already watched tons of videos I looked at so many pictures to figure out what I wanted to start with so I started with two strand twists and I will do my best to insert a few videos of me getting them done and what they look like in the beginning. I started in March with two strand twists. The weight was extremely exciting and I had absolutely no regrets. Let me say that. I have no regrets. The um, journey has been like a lot of fun so far. I'm loving my color. I'm lo loving the growing stage. When I started off, you probably just seen it in the video. My hair was completely colored. Like there was no dark. There was no black in the roots at, at all. So there you go. That's how much, if you can really tell, if you can really see, that's how much have, has grown. Look at that. Yeah. So this is amazing. Why did I decide to lock up? I mean, why not? 
literally why not why why do we decide to do half the things we do with our hair why not try something different and i will say that i have tried everything everything i've shaved my head i cut one shaved one side i did a tapered haircut i've tried wigs still from time to time i will wear my wigs um <laughs> um colored my hair, bleached my hair. I, I'm i not afraid of any, when it comes to my hair, I'm not afraid to try, cut, shave, color, bleach. I will do it all. It grows back, literally. One of the things for sure, I will say, I was already loose natural for my son. I went natural right before I had him. So he's nine now. I was already a loose natural for nine years. And I had so much fun with my loose natural, but if you're natural, you know it is so hard to main to maintain loose natural hair. So hard. The older I got and the busier I got in life, I just got to the point where I was just, I was tired of the twist out washouts, bantu knots, doing your hair the night before for a certain event or anything, and you go to take your twist out or your bantu knots out, and it is still wet. Y'all, y'all, y'all know the pain. Y'all know the pain. I know y'all know. So it just got to the point where it was just like, you know what? I want to wake up and go literally, but still have my natural hair. I, I still want to see my natural hair, how it can grow, what can happen with it, how it will look with locks and oh my God, I am having so much fun with it. I already want to try different colors like, um, my children are locked as well, except for one. My son, he was locked before all of us. And um, whew, my daughter, my middle daughter, she locked a month before me. Her hair is beautiful, gorgeous. And she does all these little funky styles. So watching her made me more excited. I was like, oh yes, I can't wait, I can't wait. Um, and now she's talking about trying a different color and I'm there now and it's like, oh my God, like when you get on Pinterest and you just look up all the beautiful locked up queens and you see like their styles and how they can crimp it and all the colors, it's like you can do so much still with locks. So at the same time, why not lock up? Being locked, I, I feel beautiful and unique. Like, of course, we, we all feel beautiful and unique in our way. So I'm not saying at all, if you're not locked and you're not beautiful and unique, that's not what I'm saying. But I will say that some people look at locks as your hair not being done. Yes, it is. And actually, I have to do a lot with this. I have to do a lot with my locks. Just like you have to do a lot with your maintaining your loose natural relaxer whether you wear wigs, buns, updos, downdos, shade, whatever. It's a lot to maintain hair, period. I don't care what style you're wearing, it's a lot to maintain hair. Um, so mine is no better than yours and yours is no better than mine. We just have different experiences, I'll say that. So going back to starting with the two strand twist, I just thought that was like easier to maintain and to deal with. I was afraid to commit to the coils. Um, I just felt like, you know yourself, you know what you would look good in, what you would not look good in. There's so many options out there to start locks with. You can start with two strand twists, you can start with coils, you can start with instant locks. Instant locks was something that I almost tried. But after, once again, before y'all lock up, do y'all research, do it for a little while. I did research for like a hot solid month before I committed to something. And I committed to the two strand twist literally like two days before my appointment. I actually booked the appointment for the instant locks, but after looking up the instant locks, I really didn't like how they laid. Um, I felt like they were more stiff, um, but the instant locks, they pretty much come out like this. When you walk out the salon, they will automatically look like this. However, what I didn't like about the instant locks, they don't lay like this. They will be really stiff and like, you know, standing up or whatever. So um, I was like, okay, I won't like that part because I wanted to walk out the salon and 
immediately start rocking my locks and I have been rocking my locks since day one. Now from time to time, I will throw on my headband wig if I'm doing something or um, there's a certain outfit I'm wearing and I feel like I just want to style it or switch up a little different. I still will do that. But for the most part, I have been rocking my locks as is. When I also started the locks, um, I was coming, growing out of my tapered, tapered haircut. So I was really short, pretty much almost like bald around here. I did, ha I did grow some hair out. So I wasn't completely bald, but I was really short. And as you can see, it's still fairly short now. And all of this was really long. So it's going to look, it's going to be longer here, as you can see, but then short here. But the back is growing out. So this is my back. So yeah. When did I wash them? I don't really remember when I first washed them, but I want to say, y'all, it probably was a month maybe a month in um that's when i was like okay i'm gonna go ahead and, and start messing with them like for a while i left them alone i i didn't do anything the only thing i did was um put oil in them but then a month in i was like all right I'm about to start planning my hair. I'm about to test my hair out, figure out what's going on, figure out what, what we like, what we don't like. The first time I washed it, it came out really nice. I was like, okay. Because when you first get them twisted up, the only thing I didn't like when I first got them twisted up was like the really thin bald stage. <laughs> I like the full like um, budding stage. So I was excited about that. And I did see where another girl, um, she was like, I went on here and I wet my hair and I washed it and I loved how it looked afterwards. And that was me. I went on here and I was like, all right, I'm about to go wash my hair. When I got out the shower or whatever, I was like, okay, this is what I was looking for. I want a little bushiness going on or whatever. And then um, I didn't retwist it right away. I don't think I, I did my first retwist and I didn't retwist it until maybe two months later. And that was interesting because I'm still learning how to do that. Like I said, my son, he's been locked up three years now. I'm still learning a lot. I struggled with his because his is a lot longer and thicker. My twists are a lot smaller or skinny or thinner than his is. Like his, I do need to like do the whole palm roll and everything. Mine, I could just do a little twist and throw my little um, alligator clip on it or whatever and move on. And so, so far since I've been locked, I think I only did a retwist on myself twice. But from time to time, I will just touch up the front just so that it could look really good. And then I'll do my little edges and it's so cute. And as far as washing them, I literally say wash them as much as you want. When it's time to retwist, like I said, I don't do a lot. For me, I'm still learning it. If y'all have a better way and can share like different products or whatever, I this is what I use. I use this. Every now and then, if like I said, if I'm just on the front, I'll just put like oil in my hair and then and then I just take like a little piece because I, I like to see my part sometimes and I go in the direction. You got to find in the direction that your twist is going and I just twist just this part and I take these little clips that I got from my local beauty supply store and I literally, y'all, uh, just clamp it. And I wear my hair this way a lot. So I clamp these this way and I clamp these here. The back is just clamped. And I will sit under my dryer for about 30, 35 minutes. And I throw my bonnet on and I let just let it dry the rest of the way on its own. And it works for me. So that's why I say you just got to figure out what works for you, what products you want to use. Um... Yeah, but I, I literally don't have to do much to my hair. I'm very happy with it. I'm very pleased. I'm very confident in it, um, satisfied with it. So I don't touch it much. I, I feel like I don't. And if I am touching it a lot, it's just because like I'm excited and I just love them so much. So my fingers do stay in it a good bit, but it's not out of 
frustration like oh what am I gonna do with my hair is legit like oh my god I'm locked oh my god I love my color oh let me go play in my hair and put some oil in my hair oh I want to wet my hair oh can I style it yet can I do something because I, I can't wait for that I can't wait till I can wear my pineapples I can't wait until I could just um I, I just can't wait till I do like some really cute styles I don't know if y'all what's her name Eva um, she was on America's Next Top Model, and I think she's locked up in all the look, like gorgeous hairstyles that she wears, like her updos and her buns and all of that stuff. I can't wait to do it. It's coming. It's coming. I mean, <laughs> I got some time. I got to wait for a little bit, but it's coming. Will I go back to the salon? For sure, especially my loctician. Um, I absolutely loved her. She was really nice she offered a lot of information she was um like uplifting she encourages you to learn you your journey and your hair don't be afraid to touch in it mess in it um learn it like she wasn't one of those don't color it don't touch it don't don't twist it yet don't wash it don't no get in your hair touch it figure it out love on it let me say this because i don't want this to discourage anyone because i do hear this a lot as well from time to time one may become unraveled if you guys do the coils or the two strand twist girl twist it twist it back up just twist it back up i have already i have a couple of unique ones um and i like it i Every lock will be different and you're going to have that one or two unique locks. So this one has a complete like gap in it. I used to twist it up so much, but it's it's almost completely locked up. But you, I legit can stick my finger through it. It just has this one little gap in it, one little hole. But you can't tell. Another one, I can't find it. Um, look how long that one is. But there's another one. Oh. Is this it? No. There's another one that it locked up, but the end split. So it's, it's a long lock. And then towards the end, it turned into two locks. I love it. So it's kind of like, like a snake's tongue, I guess. It's like the way it separates. So you'll have some unique ones and some fun ones and leave them. Let them be. Like if you want to, if you need to, go ahead and twist it back up. They're going to do their own thing. You're going to twist it up and twist it up and mess with it. And it's going to be like, no, I want to separate here. No, I want to hold here. No, I want to divide like this. No, I want to hang this way. No, I'm going to stop growing. <laughs> I do have one of those. I think it's in the back. One just said, uh, I'm done growing for now. It might be this one. It's just like so cute and like little. Don't overthink anything. Play in them. Love on them. Take care of them. With all that being said, yes, I will go back to her um, because one day I will get them professionally retwisted um, and I may even get it professionally like recolored. I, I don't know. I plan on having fun with my locks. I plan on getting different colors, different styles, all the above. So yes, I will be back at the salon. If I need to do um, an updated video about my lock journey. I will because I do feel like I'm leaving something out. I'll probably come back and even do like a style video with y'all. Show y'all how I wash them, how I retwist it. That's what I'll do. So we're going to have fun with that. Um, but yes, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope y'all love this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below um, any tips and tricks. Like I said, that y'all have anything that y'all can offer. Um, let's enjoy this Lock journey and lock up and tell me when did y'all lock up? All right, love y'all.